a journey of home renovation and maintenance. Welcome to Maintaining 18. As the climate transitions from spring to summer, the HVAC is more dormant. It is the perfect time to maintain the unit. In my case, the HVAC was installed during renovation and before the tiled and hardwood floors. The HVAC is very dusty. Today, the focus is on the inside of the unit. With the power turned off at the main panel, time to take out the chemistry set. The spray bottle being used is quite handy. It has the ratio outlined on the bottle, so no measuring. What's required is a 3 to 1 mixture. Water, 3 parts, 1 part, evap, coil cleaner. The unit has not been cleaned in 2 years and if the exterior is any indication, it is getting pretty messy. On the plus side, filters are changed regularly to protect the blower. The HVAC unit is stacked. At the top is the heater, in the middle is the coil, and below is the blower. Please take note, the clutch on the drill is set to 1 to prevent damage. The drain pipe coming from the coil to the pump rotates out of the way, a feature necessary to service the blower. Cleaning begins at the top of the unit behind the heater panel. There's dust everywhere, on the wires, the control board, the breakers, the knockouts, dust, dust and more dust. The vacuum with the brush attachment is able to get rid of most of the surface dust. However, there are so many little crivets and corners. Tape on a wire? Suspect. Some time was taken to inspect things. There was contacts which were burnt it seems. On the unit, very dirty, needs a brush it. <laughs> Get in there. To get into the crevices, a toothbrush is used. As a result, more dust was pulled out of the unit. The brush was also used on the control board to get rid of dust. Thank you for exploring Maintaining 18. Home maintenance preserves the values and function of homes. Maintaining 18 features real and necessary maintenance. At your discretion, please share the video with a friend. If the video was helpful or motivational, please give a thumbs up. To be informed of new maintenance videos, please subscribe and select the notification bell so YouTube will notify you of new videos. These actions help the channel reach a wider audience. Please leave your thoughts, comments to improve the quality and direction of the channel. While the entire unit is dusty, some areas stand out. Those areas tend to get attention quickly. Once they are clean, other areas stand out. Then those areas get attention. And on and on it goes.
dust in the corners tend to be the last cleaned. Looking better, but a lot more dust remains. It's very difficult to get to it using the brush and the vacuum. A blow gun does the trick. A look underneath the heater, pretty clean. Moving on. Going further down, the coil is being cleaned. Now, this is a delicate operation as those fins damage very easily. They can also be repaired very easily. It's a tight, tight space. Access from the back was not possible. The coil pulls out, however, pipes in the way so that operation was also not possible. A coil cleaning brush is used to agitate the dust. There's some build up as best possible these need to be removed. The areas around the coil has dust build up. Some attention is needed there. Disinfectant wipes are used to clean this area. Being unable to slide the coil forward, this is a very tight space. Both sides of the coil, same treatment. Mishaps do happen. Paper towel fell, it was retrieved from the blower compartment. The brush also fell, this was retrieved from the drip tray. The coils are being sprayed down, yes full bottle was used. This special attention the HVAC is receiving happens once a year. When you have abundance of chemicals, use it liberally. At the bottom of the HVAC unit, the blower compartment is next to be cleaned. The blower slides forward. This allowed for better access. It's very dusty down here. Every inch is covered with a light film of dust. The corners are particularly challenging. The dust there is caked on. To help with this, a steam cleaner was used at some point. The blower unit slides forward giving access to the back. Yes, the drain pipe had to be pivoted out the way. You got me, or maybe I got myself. The blower looks clean. How did I get there?
compared to the heater and the coil, the blower had the heaviest dust accumulation. Dirt was around the switches and other components which the brushes, the vacuums could not get to. Hence the use of the steam cleaner. During the winter the pump has not been used. It needs cleaning as well. The pump simply lifts out of the reservoir. The reservoir is where the liquid used to clean the evaporator coil ended up. Heavy buildup was removed with a paper towel. The remaining buildup was removed with a steam cleaner. The steam cleaner was very effective at cleaning the pump unit. The control board was also clean. There are tabs that allow the control board to slide out for easy access. The control board was cleaned with compressed air. The pump is back in place but needs to be tested to ensure it will function. The reservoir is being filled with some water. This will trigger the pump. Only the best water for my equipment. I don't drink this water. I drink from the fridge. While the pump functioned, the water was not being pulled outside. The line is locked. Another issue is the condition of the drain pan. There is some buildup, biological buildup, inside the drain pan. covers were dusty. These were cleaned with a disinfectant solution and a paper towel. At this point the other panels were cleaned and reinstalled. The heater panel which was the first to have been removed will be the last to be replaced. The fitter on a breaker is not tight. This is alright. The clutch on the drill is set to 1. This worked out very well. A couple of maintenance items remain. The reservoir and the blocked line. These will be for another day. watching day 